I am on my way to your house. <sighs> good. I met you on the way. Have you heard the good news? You're looking at the next king of Omungene Kingdom. Well, it's not new information. I mean, it's been flying around for a while. What I don't understand is what it's got to do with me. I'm surprised you're asking the question. What it means is that you will be the next queen of Omungene Kingdom. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. Um, are you this daft? That you can't tell when a woman likes you or not. Listen, Silas, if you like, be the king of all kings, of all the seven kingdoms around here. I will never be your wife. Do not say what you will regret later. Listen, I only stopped because I thought you had something important to say. Have a good day. You're walking out on me? Owa na polan. Owa were nukunri. Enze no so na ba. Nge de tege. Pasi na wa diga wo se ki ere tu. No che se. Enze no so na ba. Kili kili ka na wu po se. Anayali yo. Can somebody talk to the priest of the land? Can somebody talk to the priest of the land? Can somebody talk to the priest? What is wrong with you? Why must you walk out on him? Can you imagine? A whole owner of this land. That was so rude and disrespectful. Too. So because he is your owner, I should have knelt down to talk to him? At least, you should have accorded him some respect. I mean, this is a young man that loves you and even wants to make you his wife. Why exactly. disrespect him? I can see you ladies don't want to have a peaceful stroll this evening. So I suggest you let me be and let me stroll by myself. Become friends with such an unreasonable person. Oh, I see reasons with her. No, most times you need to make this man pass through the eye of the needle. They will never respect you. You think so? so? I know. Let's just allow her. Let's just let her be, okay? She'll be fine. Let's leave her. Let's go. Do we crown him king when nobody has ever been crowned king from his lineage? Uh, okay, okay, that is not an excuse at all. Money can always force anything hey. to start. Okay. Uh, when he becomes a king, uh, it means that he is the first person in his lineage to become a king. Oh. And do you know the, the most important aspect of what we are saying yes. is, mm. is that you have to very beautiful house, oh. a magnificent <laughs> edifice, yeah? even more beautiful than the, the, the palace. We we'll just the crown him there and become our king. It's a joke. What of the crown? What of the crown? Uh, Will Prince Kedinibo accept to release the crown for us to crown another person king? Okay. Ah, it's okay. okay. Mm. We are not even going to disturb him with that request. Oh. Okay, okay. If he likes, let him keep the crown of his father. Oh. Uh, we can always get a crown. Oh. Uh, once we name him king, we will give one million naira to the commissioner of chieftains. 
and they will issue him with a certificate okay. and register him as a king. Another important thing. Okay. As Belinda, the daughter of each year, Ilopotive has rejected him. I think he needs another woman as a wife. Is he aware of this? Uh -uh. Zobiora. Half of noon is your corner up and Katojo. I see that you and your men have gathered. Huh? Prince Kedinu, you are here. And why is that fool ringing the royal bell for you? He's ringing the royal bell because I was born into royalty. And I shall die again. Hey, 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 stop! Stop it! Stop it! I never wanna. Hey, hey! If you ring that bell one more time, I will teach you in a brutal way that I'm still in Zobiora, that the deities are for it. It's here, Obiora. You know that the deities do not avoid you. Stop being ridiculous. As a matter of fact, it is men like you that avoid the deities. Why? Because your hands drip of immorality. Needless to remind you all that this is not in any way a friendly visit. Continue in your evil ways. Very soon you all shall find out that men are nothing without the gods. <laughs> I can see you only want to provoke us or maybe somebody here will slap you and then you will start a education that will break our plan. Let me disappoint you. These men you see here are far above that level. Ichie, I choose to ignore your irrelevant rant and get back to the reason I am here. I am here. To remind you all that my name is Prince Ike Dinibo. I shall become the king of Umungene Kingdom, and all of you, each and every one of you, will be answerable to me. And the ancestral practice of Ika Manile shall be brought back to our land. <laughs> Wait, my fellow, I am certain that we understand the implication of what you just said. Eh? And uh, we see what we are engineered him. Mm. And I want us to see this as a war. Oh, oh, war. 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 But we are not afraid of war. If he wants one, we are equal to the task. Like Listen, he has turned dust into our eyes. Yes. We shall mm. give him gunpowder. Who is a Who is a wifey civil power, by the way? Let us pretend. Let us pretend that if we never had the stopping power. Okay. Let us continue with our plans. Exactly. Let's continue with our plans. Let us forget about diversion. just want to We will send words to Onwa. He needs to get married immediately. Then. We, we we get done with the coronation. Yes. Ka, de, ka, oh, Let me yeah. know what that boy Bolavia. Honestly, I am not even finding this funny at all. I was having such a smooth relationship with you before all these things started. Obin. Now I can't even see you at will anymore. Obin, it'll pass. Okay? 
this too shall pass. And we will overcome. These people might have created a gap between you and I, but our hearts still beat for each other. And that is what is most important. We will overcome. Okay? Just hang in there. We'll be fine. I don't understand the kind of elders we have running the affairs of this kingdom. I mean, how can they settle for a character like Silas? They want his money. And the overambitious idiot is willing to spend the money. Is that even possible? To take your father's throne? A throne that belongs to your family? And give it to someone else? Because of money? I went to Ajani, Uku, and Obimbako. I made my intentions for Omongene known. Also solicited for their help. My love, I believe that as far as this matter is concerned, I have crossed my teeth and dotted my eyes. If the gods would allow Silas will be crowned king, then I'll take it that they never liked the plans that I have for the people of Umongele. And I'll leave it at that and just move on with my business. What is the meaning of this? What were you doing at father's grave? I watched you walk in there. I went in there to pray. Do you have a problem with it, Asa? He was my father. So I have every right to know what anyone does there. Like I said, I went in there to pray. But I think you should go in there as well and pray, because you're fast. Losing it. No. You are the one who is going to lose the throne very soon. No amount of prayer you say in Father's grave would save you. No amount. Do the needful and stop all this madness. For crying out loud, this is politics. Play politics with politicians. And stop moving around with native doctors. Uh, who do you refer to as a native doctor? Chief Iwuno Akodiofu. The one you call Owefu Siwe Puawo of Omongene Kingdom. He is a native doctor. He does not understand the politics going on. And please, Ikedinibo, my father is dead. Allow him rest in peace. Stop going into his room unnecessarily. And now, the spirit of my fathers, I know they are with me. Again, I Amen. Amen. Yes, I wanted to call you this last time to know if you've changed your mind. Who's this, please? Oh, you didn't save this number. Well, uh, this is Owa Nomongene. Why are you calling me, please? I got you a new Range Rover Sports. They will deliver it to you tomorrow. Listen, I want to make you my wife. And I assure you, I will ensure you remain happy all the days of your life. 
Well, I am not interested in your range of response. You can give it to any of those beautiful and outstanding single ladies that cluster around you. I am taken. Good night. Oh, 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 um, please, don't call my number again. Um, um, hello? Uh, uh. Where are that, Tojo? Hmm? I will get you. I will get you to the right spot. I would want you to be. Noria. Hmm? Where the problem? Noria. Noria. Rubbish. Hmm. How are you coping with your business with all this? Uh, the business is fine. You know I have capable hands. So even in my absence, um, the boys are doing well. I get reports every now and then, and I can tell you that we're staying afloat, we're fine. I heard Silas has been sharing money everywhere. He even went to the market and shared money to the people. So I heard. I was told. He has money to throw around, so. Let him waste it. You know, the kind of confidence you exude in the midst of all this marvels me. Ah. And with Louis, this really is a challenge on the gods and ancestors of Umugene. I went to two sacred places and I prayed. I prayed and I prayed with faith. So if they choose to lose out on this, then it will be their loss and not mine. <laughs> Odogu okay. <laughs> Indeed. The gods have blessed you. I like to see men talk like men. <laughs> Let me call Obidike. We need a fresh pan wine to celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, but you just called me the blessed one. I am the prince of Umunga. I am in your house. I like nothing. Eh? You want pan wine? Eh? I will make a call. Eh? Uh -huh. And a gallon shall be brought um, here right away. Relax here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One name. <laughs> Silas Ilo. The owner of Umungene Kingdom. Hmm. Wow. Woo. Mm. Wow. Honestly, I was so surprised when I was told you were here just to see me. The beautiful one. Why would you be surprised? Huh? I've looked around this kingdom and you are the frontline beauty we have in this land. Someone like me, Owa Umungene, Owa Napoland, Wokewere Nukunvi, should be friends with someone like you. <laughs> Honestly, I do not have a problem with that. Because I know full well that you always visit the palace when my father was alive. Oh, yes. But, um, you're wearing this beautiful then. You've grown into a beautiful queen. And I feel it's time you become one real time. Why do I have this feeling that you're speaking in riddles? I'm here just as my heart leads me. I'm here to seek the woman that has been giving me sleepless nights. The one my heart yearns for. 
And who is this woman, if I may ask? She's right here with me. Princess Asanze, the beauty of Umungene Kingdom. But you have always had your eyes on my brother's fiance. That was a mistake. And it is in the past now. My love. Just give us a chance and I will make you my queen. Honestly, I am so confused. I don't even know what to say. You do not need to say much. Just say yes, and I will bring heaven down to you on earth here. for me. Yes. The gate man whispered to me on my way back that Silas Hilo was here. Is that true? Do you have a problem with that? He was my guest. How can that man be your guest, Asanze? What does he want here? Well, he came to discuss something very personal with me, which I wouldn't want to share with you now. You would not want to share with me? Asanze, I'm your brother. You now have secret meetings with an enemy of the throne and you choose to keep it from your brother. An enemy you say? That you have decided to make everyone your enemy doesn't necessarily mean that he is your enemy. So why do you refer to him as one? Well, he is my friend. My very good friend. He is not an enemy and will never be. Excuse me. My love. Please make yourselves comfortable. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and please, um, before you instruct them to prepare something for us, just know that we are okay. Because I know you. <laughs> we are okay. I'm actually here for business. Business? Oh, yes. What sort of business is it? Okay, um, here is Mr. James Benjamin, my account officer. Mr. Benjamin, this is Princess Asanze, mm -hmm. my wife-to-be. The very one I told you that I want to make a cold signature to my account. Excuse me? I'm sorry I didn't hear that part. Can you repeat yourself? I need the signature card, ma. Can just fill the required columns and I will do the rest. Wow, whoa! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Baby, you're so sweet! <laughs> <laughs> Best. And you are the real deal. Mm. Do not worry yourself. I have instructed my bankers in Poland to transfer all my Poland zoo <laughs> to Nigeria. Oh my we'll be gosh. managing them. I can't know if any of you go. Your wife already. <laughs> mm. Mm. Thank you. Wow. Mm. Uh, uh, mm. 
card. If you need any additional information, you call me. It's fine, but I, I don't mind. I, w I want to feel it right now. Yeah, okay. If you don't mind. Right. That would be great. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so I much. I am waiting. <laughs> Are you joking? Why would I be pulling your legs? This is how is what is going to happen. Omar is getting married to the princess. Why would she agree to marry him? We are not the one that gave him space. If you had accepted this proposal, he wouldn't have gone to marry the princess. Oh, stop making it sound like I'm regretting anything because I'm not. I I'm only just feeling pity in my spirit for the princess. I mean, it shows how classless she is. Why would she agree to marry a fraud star? Well, you're just the only one saying that. Omar is a money bag and he knows how to spend the money. Yeah, I mean, he offered me a Range Rover Sports last week. Are you serious? And you turned that down? Mm hmm Now I see why he left you for the princess. Belinda, you're just so impossible. Well, I know what I want in a man. And the prince, he has it all. Really? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Benjamin. Are you back in the office? Okay. Please, I would love to make an inquiry from you. I don't want you to feel bad or feel that I'm very inquisitive. You know, now that I am a signatory to that account, I want to know everything about it. Okay, thank you very much, sir. I would want to know the real balance of that account. One point five billion naira. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Thank you so very much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. Wow, woo. This guy is actually more loaded than I thought. I'm so excited that he is finally mine. myself before the princess. I am going to be very direct with this instruction. I do not ever want to see Martins in this compound again. I believe you know who bears that name. Is it not your husband to be my princess? What happened my princess? Ezazu, you are a big fool. I just gave you an instruction and you're asking me a stupid question. What I'm is sorry. wrong with you? I'm sorry my princess. No, allow him one more time into this palace and you will be fired. Rubbish. Let it not be what I'm thinking. Omar will always cause confusion wherever he goes. Wow. <laughs> this is magical. Mm about the best thing I've heard all my life. Mm -hmm. I mean, how did you do it, Wangwa? <laughs> I made her understand that she belongs here. Oh yes, I exposed her to money and she is one of the happiest women on earth now. <laughs> uh, I'll get married to her this weekend. I will get down with the coronation. <laughs> By this feat of winning the princess, you have put the last nail on the coffin of the prince. <laughs> she has not even told him that we are getting married. And I'm sure he will die of shock when he finds out. That will even be better. He is full of negative energy. We don't need such a man in this kingdom right now. Mm. I invited you to brief you. I want you to start the arrangement. 
Ike Denibo may refuse marrying her off to me, so I want us to find a way to do it without him. That is not a problem at all. We are the owners of this land. I mean, we can maneuver anything and anyone. Okay. Yeah. My princess, I'm so happy for you. Getting married to a man like that is a plot for any woman. Thank you so much. I pity poor Martins. Why do you have to pity him? He can easily get himself another woman to marry. Must it be me? What sort of insult is this? Um, I don't understand. What do you mean insult? This is Martins. Your fiance, the one that I know. You know, I saw him standing outside. And he also told me that he's been calling you and you have refused to take his calls. And then Ezaz told me that he was instructed by you not to let him into the premises. I wonder what, what is going on. So Ezazu actually executed my instruction and you still brought yourself in here? What exactly do you want here? I don't get this, princess. Wait. Did you actually leave an instruction not to let me in? What did I do? Oh my god, what part of I am not disposed to see you, don't you understand? Are you okay? Um, Asanze. Are you fine? Is your madam okay? Ike Dinibo, please stay out of this. And you? Are you dumb? Can't you read the handwriting on the wall? Don't you know when a woman has interest in you and when the interest has evaporated? I haven't picked your call in days. Didn't that tell you anything? Well, if you're done with Ike Dinibo, your host, you might as well take yourself out of this palace. What's going on here? Were the both of you having issues? No. Are you sure? Not at all. I guess something is wrong somewhere. You know what? Calm down. Okay, I'll have to talk to her. Let me know what it is, okay? And I'll call you. Yeah? Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. I will appreciate that. You can go. I'll call you. I appreciate it. Excuse me. I already know you like the back of my palm. I knew you would follow me up here just to ask me why I did what I did. Exactly. Because it baffles me. Why you have suddenly turned hostile to Martins. Say Martins. That I have seen you here in this palace countless times making out. Mm -mm. What happened? You can name please. Do not toe that line at all. I have something important to tell you. What is it? I do not want you to read meanings into what I'm about to say. Go ahead. I am in love with Silas Ilo, the owner of Omongene, and we are getting married. You're not serious, are you? I am dead serious. I am only telling you for you to know. Not for your opinion though, for I already know what's in your mind. The same man who wants your brother dead is the same man you want to get married to? Take it, Nibo. Two of you are in two different political camps. It has nothing to do with me. I am not discussing politics here. I am discussing love. 
And I believe so well that a man like you who has traveled far and wide should know the difference. Asansi! You need prayers. You need prayers to rediscover yourself for your getting ruined. You need prayers. I'm not asking for your consent. I'm only telling you this for you to know. For information's sake, that's all. Because I know you will, you will never support me. But it's not my business. It is my life. And I will live it however I so please. Hey, girlfriend. The truth is that I have really missed you. How is work? Work is really stressful and I miss you more. But you know I'm on leave. So I have to rush down home to get all the rest I can get. Okay, that's really nice. And who is that person calling your phone all day? Hmm. Isn't it Martins? He's so dumb. My princess, I think you should take things easy. Martins is a nice guy. But that silence of a guy is a froster. Hmm. He has no legitimate business in the city. So how come he's in so money? How come he's in so much money? Oh, forget about that. Well, someday, somehow, I know he will be exposed and be disgraced. He will not be disgraced. Well, don't be surprised when that happens. It will not happen. Okay. And please, stop intruding in my privacy. This man we're talking about is my man. And very soon, he will be crowned king. And everything will be normal again. I am surprised. I am surprised you could abandon a man like Martins and said so for a man like Silas Ilo. Oh, please stop it. Stop calling him Silas Ilo as if he's a nobody. For crying out loud, this man we are talking about here is the Omwa of Omungene. Please accord him some respect. I don't like it. See, lover, forgive me. You are looking good. That's your business. Please, did you bring what I asked you to bring for me? I see this entirely from a different angle. No, there's just one angle to this. Silas Ilo is taking my silence for cowardice. He thinks that I am stupid. And I'm going to make him pay. This is a crucial time. We must apply wisdom. Whatever you do right now will amount to descending to his useless level. You once lifted my spirit when you said that you have decided to leave everything to the cause. My friend, I want us to maintain that standpoint. But that fraud star is asking for trouble on Duluwe. He's coming after my family. First he goes after Belinda, he fails. And now Asanze. Why? Why? Why is he constantly coming for people close to me? Why? Kedinibu. There is a reason for everything. Huh. When the girls decide to keep silent fools begin to think they are asleep listen my dear i have gone ahead with this if you need further explanation you get it when you return for now allow me enjoy my life please Ascendance. What happened to us? What happened to the love that we shared as siblings? I have always been there for you. I have loved you unreservedly from the moment we were this young to this point. I have watched your back. Every decision you have taken, I have stood behind you and given you full support. 
What is going on? Why are we falling apart? You know that I love you, Asanze. You know that I love you with every fiber in me. You are the only sister that I have in this world. What worries me is not the fact that you have chosen to ridicule this palace. By making it known to everyone that you are going to marry a man who has declared me his number one enemy. You know, Mungane, what worries me is the fact that I know you are going to regret that decision that you have taken. Well, you don't have to worry yourself about that. Because... I will not regret anything. Yes. I won't. You may never understand what he has done for me already. He has made me a co-signatory to his account. What does that tell you? I am getting married to a man who wants me to be part of his life. Asanze, you're a princess. Is this about money? You shouldn't be. Look around you. You're born into royalty. Is money the issue here? I don't think so. Look around you. You don't lack anything. Why do you want to do this to yourself? I am not doing anything to myself. And please, Ikedinimo, stop preaching to me. Because it will never change my mind. I have made up my mind already, and it stands. Asanze. You are the princess of Omongene Kingdom. And I am the crowned prince. I am going to be crowned king of Omongene in the shortest possible time. Can you not see that I am talking to you as a king? Well, I'm so sorry to disappoint you, my darling brother. You have lost that right long time ago because of your fetish and stupid interest. Now I need you to know that my husband will be crowned king and me, the queen. So you are going to be so irrelevant in this kingdom and you will blame yourself for that. Asande is a why. Why are you not thinking like a princess? Why? Your father must have been a seer to have named you Asanse. <laughs> and why did you say so? He saw tomorrow. Even when you were still a child, he saw how you would have looked when you grew up. <laughs> Asanse. The beauty for the high and mighty. And finally, I ended up in your arms. As my queen, and I promise to love you forever. And I will love you too, my darling. Oma, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. You're welcome. Mm. Where are you heading to? I want to hang out and board. Oh. <laughs> Just be safe. Oh, okay. I will, I will. Go. All right. <laughs> I guess he's one of your boys that helps you do business. Oh yes, his name is Edmond. Oh. He's an expert in online stock trading. Oh yes. Oh, that's impressive. You're welcome to my home. <laughs> this place had always been your home. It just took us time to find out. So now that we are finally together, we are going to make up for the times we stayed apart. By whatever standard, are you better than the princess who we finally married? Eh? Tell me! Look at the special man that came for you, and you insisted on a nobody! With all due respect, Father, Ike Dinigbo is not a nobody. He's Everything Silas Ilo will never ever be. And I'd really appreciate it if you stop making my man a subject of discussion. Eh? I 
Have you seen a classless thing? You refer to as a daughter. Have you seen her? Talking back at me? Nani. Please. We need to stop overflogging this issue. She said she is not interested. And is she in any way close to the woman he married? I will not say anything now. Until that man leaves you and run away from this town. Why would he run away from this kingdom? Because he has already lost the sister to the man of the moment. And in a couple of days, he will equally lose strong. But when that finally happens, do you think that young man will stay back here in this kingdom? He will forget this fool and run away from this town. And that will be the time. I will tell you why they call me Ilopo TV, Abura Mosu. I'm not here. No, because we'll be on you. Silas Ilo has managed to turn all the men in this kingdom into greedy men. I'm surprised that my own father allowed himself to be caught up in this web. Hmm. In Ekwanya, he is right. Oh. Your father is right somehow. I'm telling you. What if what he just said happens? What if finally Silas Ilo becomes the king of this kingdom? Mother, we've settled this a long time ago. Mm -hmm. If he does not get the throne eventually, we will continue to live our normal lives and forget everything about royalty. And you are comfortable with that? We love each other, as woman and her man. If he gets the throne, fine. If he doesn't come, equally fine. Where are you from? Where are you Once again, I have come before you with the prince. I am here with him because he is very bothered. But why will he be bothered? Well, he is bothered because it appears as if the politicians are winning this war. So I want you to look at him one more time and assure him that the gods of Omongene Kingdom will never ever abandon whatever they started. My name is Okun. That is the plain truth. Um, Obuefi. That is exactly how I feel. I am perturbed. In spite of my very strong resistance, my sister Asanze has gone ahead to marry Sila Silo, purportedly in line with the marital laws of Omongene. Not only that, Obuefi, I also gathered that somehow they have been able to get a crown with which they are going to crown him king in the next three days. It worries me. My prince, I'm not sure going to be an idol. And that will be the day, the very day the gods will decide to rudely remind them that they are mere politicians. Look at Listen. You are on the right track. And there is no human being, no person in the whole of this kingdom of Umunge that will rule this kingdom without Ofon Kume. Ofon Kume? The very often Kume I removed from the palace the day your father joined his ancestors. It is here with me. Don't worry. Allow your sister Asanze to go about fooling herself, beating about the bush, displaying her ignorance. Exploring the vanity. Finally, reality will hit her. Is that not exactly what I told you? That you have no reason to be bothered. No, 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 no. You have to leave politicians to play their politics. Apart from taking you to Aja and Yuku and the Gimba to pray, I have gone back there on my own to pray one more time to the ancestors of Omo Gana Kingdom. I reminded them that this is war and that they must not allow politicians to win this war. Because if it happens, that politicians are recorded to have won. That will be the end of our tradition in this kingdom. Including Ibo, I, I want us to leave it just like that. 
like your boyfriend. out of my sight. I said, take your useless food out of my sight. And stop making efforts to please me because you are a disobedient child. Are we still on this matter, father? Your so-called Oma has gotten married and will be crowned king tomorrow. It has nothing to do with it. It has everything to do with me because that same man that will become king tomorrow will not be my son-in-law. But now what happened? The useless girl I call my daughter decided to stick to a loser. You are now bringing food. Take your useless food out of this place and stop showing your face. If not, I will get you injured. Nonsense. So, Father, you will starve yourself because your daughter wisely refused to marry a fraudster. There is God in everything that we do. Let's remember. If truly you know God, do you know Ten Commandment? Do you know what he said? He said, children, obey your parents. And now you are telling me God. Anytime you talk about God in this house, you will know why they call me Lobutete, Obola Mosu. I'm not here. It will just only call me, you see. Idiot. Budu nina akpagari yaba. I am equally surprised that even the leadership of the youth have equally decided to leave everything to the girls. You know that I also hear that Silas, you know, offer the youth the sum of five million now to attend his coronation as king and they turned him down. You know, when that happened, tears left my eyes. It spoke to me in different ways. It made me understand that the gods are really moving. And that is the only explanation that anyone can give. That the youth of Umungene unanimously rejected the whopping sum of five million naira surprising and elected to stand for the truth that is only possible with the gods you know i've been thinking to myself that if the gods fail me and allow silas to be crowned king of woman can I? i'll pack my things take my woman with me count my losses and relocate abroad and what is going to happen to your large aluminum company? Oh, I have um, found a lot of trust in a way of Fisi Webber. Uh, he's a noble man. He'll make a very good manager. And did you know that he runs an aluminum company somewhere in Sapla? Mm. Oh, yes, he does. So I trust him to take care of business. Okay. So have you discussed with him and he agreed? Not yet. Still watching the gods as they move. Huh? My father is still upset. He's still mad at me for not agreeing to marry Silas. He doesn't eat my food anymore. And that only means one thing. He doesn't want me in the houses again. Why? Don't worry about it. I'm going to leave for my my uncle's place, my dad's brother. That one that stays in that bag and I have a taxi waiting for me with my stuff. Please, don't go. You know I'll miss you. Please, don't go. Can, can, you, can you stay? Okay, you know what? I mean, this is all sudden. Okay, 
one for me. Give me one day. Let me shop for you. Let me let me get you ready for this journey. I, I, I will take you myself so that you're crying. Stop, stop. I'll be fine. I won't be fine without you. Stop crying. Stop crying. Eh? Hey. I'll call you. I love you. I feel you should have allowed her to stay. Why allow her to travel all the way to her uncle's place at Abagana? when she can comfortably stay here. You know, statements like this remind me that you know nothing about royalty. How can you ask that I let her stay here when I'm not married to her yet? This anomaly that you preach is part of what I stand against in Omonkana. But your sister has been bringing Martins to the palace. And how beautiful has her life become? Let's drop this topic in the way and focus on positives. Belinda, listen to me. I am your uncle. My home is your home. Forget about what happened and move on. Thank you, uncle. You don't need to thank me. Do not take hard on yourself. And do not blame your father for what he did. He will not disown you. Never. Sometimes, we parents feel our choices for our children are always the best. But I told him, Uncle. I told him that I would know no happiness if I married Silas. And he made it clear that he doesn't care about my happiness. Can you believe he stopped eating my food? My father threatened to destroy my face if he sees me again. I had to follow my heart. Now listen. I have never told you this before. My mother died a year before you were born. And I told my sister that my mother came back in you. She laughed. But seeing what you just did, standing on your conviction, I now confirm what I told my sister some time ago. Relax. Feel at home. If you don't like the room I gave you, I'll give you another one. Everywhere. It's yours. Thank you. Welcome, my dear. Thank Welcome. You. Stand, Thank up, you. stand up, stand up. Stand up. It's okay. It's okay. Blinda's supposed to be back by now. Back to where? Eh? Nay, no, calm down. You're taking this too far. Don't land our daughter in trouble. Though. That is what she deserves for being stubborn. Thank God she's not the only child. Our elder brother is doing well with his family in Oka. He never disobeyed me for once. Mm. Her line is not going through. Eh? At least we're supposed to know her whereabouts. Well, if that will make you feel better, she is with your brother Nelson. He called to inform me. Hi. Thank God. 
God. She has really made me happy by not running off to be with the prince. Do I call her? Oh. Can you go in and get me something to eat? Sure. Omenka follow Naya, get me up yours, Unafia. And to my beautiful, <laughs> outstanding, alluring, and shining queen of Umungere Kingdom. <laughs> you are such a blessed woman. From a princess to a queen. queen. <laughs> what else could you have asked for? Me nothing. Me absolutely nothing, my husband. <laughs> Beautiful one. I will make you the happiest woman on earth. Mm. Henceforth, you will swim in the ocean of wealth and oh. happiness. <laughs> Thank you, my king. Mm, please sit. Thank you, my husband. Hmm. 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 Hmm.